Hello, it's Mr. Tando from Family Martial Arts, and I'm here with my strength video, Brutus Strength. Um, now, look, there's in two halves. One's the, the junior half, and one's the adult half. And the adults can do the junior part as well to build up to the adult part if they feel like they need a little bit of building up. So, to start off with, um, when odds are, if someone is going to pick on you or be aggressive or be, it's not always the case but some most of the time it happens it's usually because they think they have an advantage over you um, they're either they like they think they're hard as in like, I know I'm tough or they might be taller they might be um, heavier set um, could be anything but they, they psychologically they've automatically got that I'm I'm I can beat you in a, in a complex situation now that might not be the case. Sometimes people just blow a fuse and like, ah! <laughs> they don't think about it logically. In which case, then you, you've got the, the the advantage and should be able to de-escalate the situation nice and easily. But if, if someone's trying to take advantage of you in in any type of way by trying to take something from you or and you, uh, that you can't give, uh, then it's slightly different. Now, if it's uh, like a match, like you're sparring or something, someone might be. Um, be taller than you or be able to throw higher shots than you can or at that moment in time if you're doing that type of sparring so this is ways of naturally improving your strength to be able to deal with that because if you if you dealing with someone that's attacking you and they're like six foot and they're like super strong like super heavy um, it's hard to to deal with them unless you can you've mastered the principles of um, leverage and path of least resistance it's going to be really hard to deal with so you need to build up more strength in order to deal with um, bigger aggressors basically so first one is body weight exercises now we we do these every day when we come training um, there'll be things like push-ups uh, push-ups sit-ups plank jump squats um, uh, bear crawl they're all great ways of building your own strength up. And it, like plyometric on alternate jump squats, amazing for legs when you're tripping up. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Uh, push ups, plyometric push ups, uh, circular push ups. You, you can do anything where you're tense and you're holding it. Anything like that is brilliant. Um, but now we're going to move on to, so with the, especially for the juniors. Okay, so I've got a mini workout routine for the juniors to. Build up your strength. Um, ideally, it'd be nice if you've got a lot of room, but if you haven't, that's okay, because we're gonna nick a little bit of the doom cross. Okay, so from this position, I'm gonna be about here, so you can see my feet. Okay, I'm gonna go backwards three squares, forwards three squares, and I'm gonna do 10 push-ups. Okay, so I'm gonna start in my back core position. I'm gonna go backwards, so back three squares, go forwards three squares, I'm going to do more 10 push ups. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Backwards 3, forwards 3, 9 push ups. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Backwards 3, forwards 3, 8 push ups. And so on. Catch my drift. Now you can do that with anything. You can do squat for us. You can do an alternate jump squats, you can do it set ups. I, I say start from 8. Um, if you can do it from up to 15, it'll start from 15, that'll be mega. So that's your goal, juniors, and some adults. <laughs> um, now, adults once, because uh, your bodies are grown and fully formed, you don't have to worry about your joints, or well, some people do, uh, everyone's different. but. When children are developing, you don't want them dealing with heavier weights whilst they're doing it. It's something that their body can't deal with. But they can deal with their own body weight. So that's why body weight exercises for juniors and ninjas and some adults. But with the adults, if you can, using weights is brilliant. Um, I like kettlebells more than I like other things because it's more like your natural movement. If I'm sitting on a on a machine, okay, this is a, this, it still works. My my pegs, 
um, my biceps, my triceps, um, but it's it's still not natural. It, it's stuck on a rail, and I'm only going to work those target target things. But when you're holding something that's a little bit floppy, a little bit loose, all your other muscles are going to have to try and stabilize yourself. So these are my kettlebell exercises, my favorite ones. <sighs> right, this is uh, this is an eight kilo one. Um, it's, it's okay. Uh, I did you, ideally, uh, depending on what you use, you want to try and get up to like 20. But starting off, fives, eights, perfectly good. Right, so first one, normal kettlebell swing. I'm going to have a straight back, uh, feet about well, just over a shoulder width wide, and with the kettlebell, uh, I'm going to bend my knees, and as I strain my knees, I swing it up. I don't want to be going and arching my back too much. I'm going to push my back so I back to try and keep my back straight. And then as I go up, I just push it forwards, my hips, and it straightens me up. It's a simple kettlebell swing. Next one, I like to call night fevers. <laughs> so it's going to start from across. So you can see my feet. It starts across the body. So I'm going to reach, okay, grab it, and I'm going to try and keep my back straight, I straighten up, push, and it goes out to the side, and then brings it down and across. One, down, two, three, and so on. And then you do the same thing, going across the other side. Four. Uh, so they're my night levers. Now, this next one, tricep dips. Now, because it's an eight kilogram, um, one, this is definitely doable, uh, or, or, or a smaller lightweight one. It's very difficult to do on a 20 kilos or, or anything like that. So you hold it, just trying to have your elbows as horizontal as you can get them. They're, they're not going to be like 100%. And you drop this back, making sure you've got good grip. Extend, drop control. Extend, and then control it down for your tricep dips. On the kettlebell. Next one. Now, th this one, uh, uh, in Mary Poppins, there's a bit where um, Dick Van Dyke's on the roof and they've got chimney sweeps and they've got the, the stick and they go boom, 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 boom. Right? That's what we're going to be doing. So I call it like a step in time, albeit some people call it the floating kettlebell. Or, but. So I have my knees just uh, wider than. A shoulder width maybe can be two, can be well, one and three quarters, can be, but just a bit wider. I'm going to have my kettlebell uh, just in front of me, and I'm going to bend my knees and my arms at the same time so that the kettlebell stays in its uh, in the same space basically. Now, as I'm doing this, my legs are getting it, my arms are getting it, my back's getting it, and I'm tensing my abs at the same time. So you've got complete body. Uh, tension whilst you're doing this this exercise and it is a killer um, especially the the higher up you get on on the weights it's it's, it's brilliant <laughs> anyway next one uh ideally you want to have two kettlebells but uh, build up to it so we we'll start off and we do the blue square come and stand a blue square right i'm gonna bend my knees i'm gonna come up i'm gonna ride uh, raise it up above my uh, above my head to the side and then back down. Bend the arm, back down again. Back down again. So it's all isolating one arm, but still using your legs. It's kind of like the night fevers, but it doesn't. You don't feel it as much as the cardio. So um, it's a nice one to to start off with, I suppose. The other things that you can do: are curls, um, bent over rows. So you're leaning over and then you're pulling it up and then back down again. Um, but yeah, that is my favourite sort of kettlebell routine for any of the adults that uh, if they've got any weights like that, they want to give it a go, they want to improve their strength. Imagine if someone bigger was trying to manhandle you, throw you around, are you able to uh, move them? Are you able to uh, parry or, or guard? 
have a block. If you don't think you'll be able to deal with it, then maybe you should be doing some weight training just to improve your chances. Okay? So that is strength down. See you in the next video.